is designed to be everyone's friend! I'm standing up to you! Revenge? I can't take this! We need to fight back! We are talking the Alpha Test. This one is directed and written by Aaron Murters, director, of course, of Clowntergeist, as well as a fairly, fairly uh, sizable filmography, including the American Hunt and Curse of the Nun. So what we got here is a case of AI gone rogue. We have this kind of uh, android home assistant. Uh, that is brought back to this kind of family where we have a, a kind of techie sort of son, uh, a teenage daughter, and then the mother and father. And the teenage daughter takes a little bit of a liking uh, to Alpha, which is this kind of android, but the everyone else is pretty mean to it. And the, the, the android, of course, is able to learn as it kind of goes along and, of course, decides it's going to take revenge on the humans that have uh, abused it, of course. Now... As you can probably guess what happened, but I won't say anything more than that in regards to plot-wise. So what do we think about the Alpha test? So, low-budget film. Um, I think the most striking element of this movie is going to be the design of Alpha herself. And she's like a female android. Now, when I first saw stills of this movie, I thought, wow, that, that kind of, like, antagonist, that kind of robot, looks pretty badass. And I've got to say, in still frames, it certainly does, but it does not quite as good on a uh, in motion. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's certainly kind of an interesting design, and it certainly looks menacing. And that may be an issue because I feel it looks a little bit too menacing. I don't, I don't understand why any company would make an Android that looks so menacing. And it almost would be better to have a, an Android that looks fairly kind of mundane looking and then kind of go on a killing spree rather than having one that looks like it's wearing the this you know this the uh mask of a serial killer and stuff like that but nonetheless the design is is kind of interesting i feel that they they've got this uh this actress to play who's fairly sort of statuesque and kind of makes for an, an imposing figure and although it's an android it's, it's interesting to have a you know a female um, antagonist so to speak i actually quite enjoyed the interactions with the uh the young daughter here as they kind of for my little bond, and I was actually quite in, you know, I was quite enjoying the scenes where they are, you know, they're they're watching trashy soap operas and things like that, and the uh, the angel is kind of learning about how to be bitchy and how to kind of get revenge and stuff like that through watching these kind of uh, crappy soap operas and stuff like that. I thought it was quite a, a neat idea here. Um, and the movie does have an interesting idea about uh, that, that will kind of remind you of movies like like her about kind of obviously when you're dealing with AI and you've seen it in her, you've seen it maybe in Avengers Age of Ultron about you kind of up being, at, you know, not it's not just one machine, you can potentially upload into multiple kind of like um, entities and things like that, which makes it for an interesting kind of twist at the, at the end there. Um, so the, the movie itself is, like I said, a low budget film and as such, it does suffer from some of the of low budget shortcomings. As I've mentioned, I feel the design of the Alpha itself is a little flawed because it kind of it just kind of looks a little bit uh, too menacing for its own good. And you can clearly tell lot the kind of the mechanical bits from the back of the head are, are just rubber and stuff like that. They kind of don't look like they're mechanical. I also don't really understand why she's always wearing this kind of like jumpsuit and why they wouldn't put clothes on her and things like that and. You know, um, again, it just kind of seems like you, that's what you would do. Um, I've got to say, I think the acting is a little bit on the weaker side here, particularly from our parents um, who really struggle to, to deliver any type of believable lines here. I feel the younger cast actually do a better job, if I'm honest. But the uh, the parents here, there's some there's some quite awkward line delivery, um, and the, the there there are again just. Just ban it mainly down to the kind of the cheapness of the thing here. The when the alpha gets injured, for example, it just looks like a bunch of wires under some clothing and stuff like that. 
the movie is um, it does have some good ideas, but I feel it, it doesn't really have the, the scope to really explore them. And we have seen this movie, or at least the co co concept like this, done a, few, a, a good few times before. I recently reviewed one called Automation, which was very similar. Um, so it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have a strikingly original plot. And obviously you, we've all seen, you know, like I've mentioned, um, the Age of Ultron, Ex Machina, even her. So this, this film has a lot of kind of competition that are, are a lot of a higher pedigree here. This movie does feel like more of a serial kind of slasher film, however. So if you are interested in kind of like the that sort of side of it, more of a horror sci-fi, then this may be up your street. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It wasn't a bad watch at all, but it really suffers of a little lack of budget here. What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.